An IP address is a string of numbers assigned to computers, routers, servers, pretty much anything connected to the internet, even including websites. It works much like a regular address, pinpointing the location of any device or system in the network around the world. IP stands for Internet Protocol. An IPv4 address would look something like this, and an IPv6 address would look something like this. With IPv4 addresses running out, IPv6 will introduce trillions of new addresses, and the transition is currently happening right now. There are a number of different types of IP addresses, including dynamic, static, public, private, shared, dedicated, and loopback. Dynamic IP addresses are addresses assigned by the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, aka DHCP. These addresses are on a lease basis and change from time to time, whereas static IP addresses are addresses that don't change once they are assigned. They will stay the same until the device on the network is decommissioned. Public IP addresses are sometimes also referred to as external. This is the address that is assigned to a router or network and is used for external communications outside of its own network. A private IP address, also referred to as local or internal, is assigned independently to all devices inside a network. This set of numbers is the same inside any network and is applied to each device in the order that they connect. Let's take an example, a home and an office, each with their own router. Each of the routers will have its own private and public IP addresses. If both the home and the office use a Linksys router, they will both have the same private address for the router. What will be different is their public IP address. Individual devices communicate with the internet with the help of something called network access translation, AKA NAT. What NAT does is help the network translate from the public address to all the different private addresses inside a network. That's how each device is receiving the correct information for the process it's doing. Shared and dedicated pertains mostly to website domains. Every website has an IP address. Sometimes these are shared with a number of different websites, even if they have different domains. A dedicated IP address works only for one website. Another aspect worth mentioning has to do with VPNs. A VPN is a virtual private network. The way it works is that a different dedicated or static IP address masks your computer's dynamic address and the router or host you are using. Most VPN providers have dedicated or static addresses from around the world and you can choose which to use. Now for security reasons, you can blacklist or whitelist IP addresses on your website. When you blacklist, you select specific addresses so they cannot access your website or your WordPress dashboard. Whitelisting works the other way around. When you whitelist, all access is blocked except the IP addresses you choose to give permission to. Read our article about blacklisting to find detailed instructions using WordPress plugins and manual controls. Alternatively, read our article about whitelisting your WordPress dashboard in just two steps. And now, just like that, you are an IP address expert. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.